welcome back to another episode of Emmy Eats. Today I'm continuing my Cypriot adventures and I'm eating part two of Cyprus. Thank you Sophia so much for sending me these packages of Cypriot treats. I don't think I would have ever gotten a chance to eat them otherwise so I really appreciate it and now let's get started. If you missed part one of Cyprus I'll put the link down below so you can go check that out. She sent me this in a great little package. It says Aphrodite's secret and inside is this. It is a fig cake, Skopita, and it's a very old-fashioned treat sold at fairgrounds, and you can see the little bits of fig, and looks like fig seeds in there as well. Itadaki balls. Mmm! It's not what I expected. I thought it would be entirely fig, but it's not. It's figged and it has a slight flavor. It has a little bit of acidity. So I was just thinking that it'd be chopped up figs and sweetened, but it has a complexity to it. Wow, very interesting flavors. I love the texture. You have the nice fun crunch of the fig seeds and the raisin-like texture of the figs themselves. And then there's some other flavors in there. It tastes a little bit like fennel. So. I don't know, but it's good. I like it. Very surprising. Okay, let's cleanse the palate. Serrano, and it has a little map of Cyprus on there. It's commonly served alongside a beer. And inside, quite a selection of different things. Here's a little stick, cute, and looks like giant pumpkin seeds. They're like little paprika, like coated peanuts. Oh, there's even like a corn nut in there. Ooh, very light and crunchy. They remind me of when I ate Persia or Iran, I got a lot of seeds as well. And there's the pumpkin seeds, let's give it a taste. Mmm, nice and salty and light. This looks like a corn nut, let's give that a taste. And it tastes exactly like a corn nut. I love those. Not at all greasy. Mmm, that was a garbanzo bean. Much harder crunch, but delightful. I really like this blend because it's not overly salty. And the crunch is really light and not at all oily. Love it. This is called shushushka, and it looks incredible. It looks a bit like a tamarind, but it's round in diameter. And the reason why it's shaped like this is because there are almonds inside. There are almonds on a string that are dipped into a grape jelly repeatedly, like a candle, like if you're hand dipping a candle or a taper. And then it collects on the outside of the almonds, and you get this very interesting shape. How cool is that? So that when you look in the, inside all of them, there's almonds inside. I love that. So I'm gonna give it a little slice. So cut myself a little disc. Mmm. Wow. I don't really taste any grape per se, but the texture is delightful. Kind of a rubbery, chewy texture. And then you've got the almond flavor in the inside. It's not what I expected at all. It isn't fruity at all. It tastes more like kind of brown sugar, very simple kind of dessert. I like that it's not very sweet. This is called Snackajacks. The one she sent me was sweet chili. Puffy, puffed rice kind of texture, almost brainy text surface. Mmm, those are good. It's a bit like kind of those rice, puffed rice snacks, but not as, um, not as toasted flavor. The seasoning is delicious. It's not at all spicy, still slightly tangy, but delicious. I love it. It's very similar to say something like a paprika chip. There's a little bit of onion powder in there as well. Mm, mm, mm. This is called Zivania. It's a very slender grassle container of Zivania, which is the national drink of Cyprus. This is an alcoholic beverage, it's an aperitif, and Sophia says it's very, very, very strong. So she said, just taste a tiny, tiny bit, like a teaspoon, and it might give you even a, a burning sensation. She said it's also used topically as, a, as an analgesic to treat sore muscles. So that kind of tells you how strong it is. And here we go, Kampai. Wow. Yeah, that is really strong. It is very strong, like when you exhale, you feel like you're kind of exhaling cool fumes. 
but it's actually not bad for a, a really strong high proof liqueur it's not bad it doesn't have that much of a flavor it may be similar to vodka or something like that this is called halva I tried an Israeli version of halva that was made with sesame seeds and I also got another version from Oman but I didn't try that one because I wasn't sure if it was spoiled or not so I didn't eat that one which is quite different but this one looks more like the Israeli version it makes sense for Cyprus because the Middle East is just east of Cyprus this one has cherries okay here's a little piece of it mmm that is good similar and different to the one that I tried in Israel Similar kind of sesame, roasted sesame flavor and crumbly texture. This one's a little less sweet. It has little bits of cherry in it, which is delicious. What I do like very much about it is it has a really lovely roasted flavor and it's not overly sweet. It's a dessert that just tastes very kind of sweetly satisfying, but not cloyingly so. Cheetos Sweetos. <laughs> we have Cheetos here in the States, but ne I've never seen something called Sweetos. Ah! It comes with a little prize inside. How cool. I got a heart with wings. I've got, I also got a skull with some barbed wire. And this is what it looks like. It's a little triangle. Mmm. Those are good. They remind me a lot like of these snacks that I had in the Philippines. I believe they're called Cloud Nine. Is that what they were called? I'm not sure. Filipino friends will forgive me otherwise but it has a really crunchy kind of corn, chocolate, cocoa flavor on the outside. A lot like a cereal, like Cocoa Puffs. And then inside, mm -hmm -hmm, has a really nice chocolate, dark chocolate cream in the middle. Like a Nutella without the hazelnut. Delicious. In my Cypress part one, I did a, a Lay's chip and that was paprika chips. So this one's tzatziki flavor. Tzatziki is a yogurt based sauce or dip that you often find in Greek food. Let's see if it tastes like tzatziki. Mmm. Boy, those are good. <laughs> I don't think it tastes like tzatziki. To me, this tastes like sour cream and onion chips with a nice little punch of garlic, which is delicious. <laughs> Sophia also sent me a selection of dried fruits, which she said that are really popular at fairs and markets. So she picked these out just for me. Includes dates. These are beautiful, big, kind of medjool looking dates. Some dry kiwi to dried papaya beautiful green kiwi and give that a taste. Here we go. Mmm. That's amazing. Very, very sweet, but they've added so much sugar and syrup in there. It has the texture of a gumdrop. It's amazing and subtle fruit flavor. And when you put it in the light, it's beautiful. It's translucent and the light passes through it and you can see the beautiful seeds. Gorgeous. Let's try the papaya. That's what it looks like. Beautiful kind of red, orange color. Let's give that a taste. Mmm, that one you can taste really the papaya flavor. This one, the kiwi has a really soft, gummy kind of texture. This is a little bit harder and drier. It's like the original candy, I think. You know, you take fruit and then you preserve it with sugar. Delicious and so beautiful. Love it. I love these videos. They're so much fun. Okay, let's try something salty. Look at this. Another Lay's brand, but I've never heard of it. It's called Quavers. Have you ever had Quavers? Sophia also says it comes in a ton of different flavors as well including some strange flavors like prawn cocktail. A little bit prawny and kind of vinegar, but look how delightful they are. They're like little curls. Look at that. Ding. Mmm. It does taste a bit like cocktail sauce. It has kind of that ketchupy flavor, a little bit salt and vinegar, but sweeter. In comparison to some of the prawn chips that I had in Malaysia or Japan, this is really subtle. I hardly taste any any kind of prawn or shrimp flavor at all. Mostly I just taste this cocktail sauce flavor. Yeah, I think I like the Lay's chip better. This is okay. So these are candied peanuts. They're called Mantolo peanuts. Really big peanuts coated with a caramel-like coating. Mmm. Mmm. They actually remind me a lot of Boston baked beans. In Massachusetts, in my Emma Eats Massachusetts video, I ate Boston baked beans. The coating is a little bit different, of course. The Boston baked beans are a lot smoother and, of course, a different color. But the flavor is the same, kind of a caramel, sweet, very crunchy, hard exterior with a beautiful roasted peanut in the middle. It's really good. I think these would be highly addictive. This one got a little bit squashed. <laughs> this is another Lay's. 
chip, and this time it's feta flavor. That's amazing! So feta is a type of Greek cheese. It usually comes uh, in a block, and it's quite briny and salty and tangy and crumbly in texture. Same kind of lay potato chip. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm! It's like sour cream and onion chips without the onion, which is very curious. I wouldn't say it's necessarily it reminds me of feta. If someone were to give me a blind test, I wouldn't immediately call out feta cheese, but not bad, not bad. I think in the end, I probably just prefer to take a plain Lay's potato chip. I feel like it, the feta flavor doesn't really add that much to it. It got broken along the way, so I'll try to balance it and show you. Look at that, how adorable! It reminds me of the cone that I had in Indonesia. Very similar, a little bit smaller in size. It has a little bit of foil on the top. Wow! It's like sherbet on top. In the UK, it's called sherbet, which is like a flavored sugar. Sophia warned me just to taste a little bit because it's very intense. Here we go. Mmm! That's actually really fun. It is just like sherbet. It's very tangy and kind of fizzy. It's delightful. It doesn't really have a specific flavor, maybe kind of like a citrus. It reminds me of swizzle sticks or pixie sticks. Mmm! It's a fun combination of the crisp kind of cake cone, and then you have that really fizzy, tart candy in the top. Really fun and delicious. This is called Dolly, and Sophia said her mom used to eat this kind of candy, and the, these candies were given away to children. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry. All right, I'm gonna give the raspberry a taste. Five of these, and each one of them, there are five inside here. And that's what it looks like. There's the chew inside. Doesn't have any color, it's white and it smells immediately like like raspberry ice cream. Oh, it's really soft. Mmm. Intensely raspberry, really soft texture. Softer than, say, a Starburst, more, um, and softer than a Tootsie Roll. Okay, my gut is officially busted. Sophia, thank you so much for sharing so much of Cyprus with me. It was a delight, an absolute delight to taste both traditional things and modern things as well. And thank you so much for your generosity. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, take care, bye. Ah, how cute. Oh, hi, just, just smoking my pipe.